this is the mom series, The Misunderstanding of Multiplicity, and this channel is about multiple personality. What was once called multiple personality disorder is now called disassociative identity disorder. The name was changed for the same experience or condition. Um, there are many people out there that experience their life as multiple, plural. Um, over the years, I've met a lot of people within the poetry and uh, art artisan community who uh, claim their muses to be other other selves that live with them that share their body. Um, some look at their muses as as uh, controlling, others as helpful, others as lovers. Uh, it, it depends. Uh, in me disclosing that I'm multiple with a diagnosis of MPD, uh, in, in me being out here uh, sharing with the community that I was diagnosed in 1986, that I'm 51 years old, that I, I've been in therapy, that uh, you can live co-consciously, you don't have to go uh, through years of, of, of drama to get integration and lose uh, people and, and, and you can all work effectively together and function. Um, people have written me and, excuse me, shared. Uh, and, and, and it usually starts off with, well, I think I'm different versions, different days, or there's so many multiple me's, or sometimes I think there's other people with me, or sometimes I write a poem and I don't know where it came from, or sometimes a painting comes about and I think, who did that? Um, sometimes I'm recording a, a music and the it's like my hands are not even mixing the music anymore. Somebody else has taken over and it just becomes what it is. And I just go, mm hmm. <laughs> and eventually they write me that um, they were abused, that they went through a lot of trauma when they were younger, that they were either neglected or they were traumatized or frightened or. Um, neglected or, or abused between the ages of like zero and six that they didn't have an emotional there, a parent that was emotionally there or anyone they could count on, that they pretty much raised themselves. Um, these are the creative souls out there that do not need the disorder tacked on to their plurality. They have taken, and they don't need uh, the abuse to define who they are. They can just say they're creative. Um, well, people that have DID or MPD or that identify with the disorder of it, um, because behavior is problematic in their group, um, are creative also. Each, every group is creating what they need to cope and manage life. Um, when you look at the word disorder, I remember my therapist saying to me years ago, and then uh, when I was in school, uh, going to become a social worker when I took abnormal psychology, w one of the professors saying, uh, nobody knows what normal is. And abnormal, we're gauging on what becomes problematic to daily functioning, to either the person's daily functioning or people around them. So, I'm very careful when I call something a disorder uh, because if it's not 
a problem to a degree where it's really altering a person's lifestyle and making it so that a person can't function or is so unhappy or everyone around them can't function around them and is so unhappy, then it's not a disorder. It's just who you are. It's how it is. Um, and with multiplicity, it can be very functional. It is a functional... I've heard so many people talk about this being a functional disorder um, because it serves a purpose. Coping. Uh, well, we all serve a purpose in trying to cope. And everyone has their own styles. And everyone creates their own styles of coping and management from how they learned and their environment. Uh, so, I just wanted to say that. And um, that I'm still going to do the video on the why so many people are depicted in the media with multiplicity as struggling with demons or demonically possessed. Uh, Astrid, who is a gal here who is considered a alter, who is out quite a bit, gets a lot of mail about being uh, demonically possessed because of her eyes or her beliefs in the angelic or her uh, beliefs in, in energy and light and she gets a lot of these letters and we've all uh, within this group uh, really tried to help her understand that the people that are writing her are from a religious group and she needs to take that into consideration that uh, these particular religious people would believe anybody talking about energy or light or angelic and then multiplicity are demonic. Of course they would. Um, so she needs to consider the source. But uh, I, I was I was very well pleased with her uh, making her own little video spoof about um, multiples being demonic. Obviously she was poking fun at it. Um, Wait, we got a lot of work ahead of us still. With all this DID awareness, with all this heightened awareness, it just seems to snowball and get worse at times, I think. That's my opinion. Um, I wanted to mention that uh, Oprah Winfrey had a show on October 6th. Some of you may have seen of it, some of it not seen it, I don't know. It was called Multiple Moms, and it was a follow-up show to Trudy, Chase, and the Troops, who I've mentioned out here quite a few times, he had a profound uh, positive effect on this group's life in getting healthy. Uh, back in the 90s, when, when she was doing her interviews with the Troops, uh, was she was 20 years older than us. I, I'm 51. She just recently passed away. Troops passed away March 10th of this year at 70, I think 74 years old. I got that correct. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone? Um, what better a tribute to Trudy and the troops after being so brave as they were? to write When Rabbit Howls, to produce, co-produce Voices Within, and share their story and give their life to educating doctors, nurses, school teachers, uh, everyone about uh, the horrific outcome of child abuse. Um, how very much a tribute it was to, for Oprah to have 20 years later the impact of her interview with Trudy and the troops um, was she had Carrie uh, Trudy's daughter on and I think it was great that Carrie was able to get an outpouring of love and validation and real just realization that her mom and the troops made a huge difference 
for the positive. Um, teaching other multiples, you can live healthy, you can stay together, and you can move as one and still be your individual selves and stay together and function. And, uh, and also the outcome of, of possibly what abuse can do. So, the extreme outcome of it. So, for some people. So, uh, it was a very good show, and they all they interviewed a woman named Kim Noble, who uh, was diagnosed with many different things, and then uh, in and out of hospitals for 20 years, and eventually diagnosed, I guess, with DID through her artwork, which was uh, when she was told to see an art therapist. Um, I guess all of her altars, uh, all uh, 20 of them, um, all are artistic and have different styles and are the way this group coexists together is through art. That's the way they journal, through art. They tell their stories to each other through art. They um, how they live is through art. So, um, uh, Kim Noble's art gallery is, is pretty big right now. You can go and look it up on the internet. Uh, she's in negotiations in Japan for a book and a docudrama. She's also in negotiations with Oprah's affiliate uh, new channel for a reality TV show that would follow her daughter and her life around in reality and the altars in a group or the other group members that do artwork. Um, I didn't mention this because we're, we're a little conflicted in this group about how that show, how that portion of the show was presented. Um, it, it, it appeared as though uh, Kim and the group needed to depend on 13 year old daughter to explain them and that there were strict definite roles that each altar had and and that they communicated through art which is a first step to co-consciousness but it, it may have confused people about what um, multiplicity is which um, I, I think just amongst us here, we had to think about it before we talked about it. I was just very, very glad to see a follow-up on Trudy and the troops. So, October 6th, it aired. You can go to OprahWinfrey.com, type in Multiple Moms. Kim Noble, go to her website, view the uh, group's individual artwork. Um, you can go to Aaron, Aaron's Law. Aaron was there from Aaron's Law. Um, and uh, and uh, drop Carrie a note and let her know that, uh, you know, your support. And uh, that's all. That's all I want to say for right now. I'll get back to this later. i got a lot of stuff to do today, but I just wanted to drop in and let you know that. I try to say a little something about everything that's out there in the media. So it was good to see a tribute to Trudy. I, I would have been happy to um, that if it had been more about Trudy and, and the troops. And, and but but it was it was it was all good. Okay. Take care. Bye bye.